Hello friends, uh, in this video we will discuss projections of solids called cylinder. In the past videos we discussed uh, projections of solid uh, prism and pyramid with respect to different uh, axis inclinations like axis is inclined to HP and parallel to VP, axis is inclined to VP and parallel to HP, like different conditions uh, being prism longer edges on HP and the corner is on HP, edges on HP, rectangular face is on HP. In case of pyramid, slant edges on HP, uh, triangular faces on HP, and again the same uh, corner is on HP, edges on HP. These are the similar kind of uh, conditions we discussed for both prism and pyramids. If you wish to see those uh, videos and the projection of solids questions, you can refer the description uh, box in the description a uh, question as well as uh, video link has been shared for your reference in this uh, video we will discuss projection of uh, cylinder with the question draw the projections of the cylinder base 30 mm diameter and axis 40 mm long resting with a point of its base circle on hp such that the axis making an angle of 30 degree to HP and parallel to VP. So in the question, base 30 mm diameter and the axis is 40 mm long, resting with the point of its base circle on HP. Base circle on HP. So if base circle on HP, we can say this is the position of a cylinder. It's almost like a prism. In case of prism, uh, uh, we will have a plane surface of a pentagon, hexagon, uh, so, uh, a pentagon, hexagon, square. Okay. Uh, in the top face as well as bottom face, both are similar and parallel to each other. So being cylinder, it is the smooth surface. Circle at the top face and bottom face or bottom base also. Base also we will have a circle but it is a smooth surface you can see the only the boundaries of the cylinder not like uh, prism in between we are not having any uh, plane surface like rectangle or parallelogram okay so being cylinder it is a smooth surface uh, we can see only the boundaries of the uh, solid in the top view i can say i can see one uh, circle base circle is invisible from the top view in the front view i can see a rectangle with this we will move on to the solution first you can draw x y then uh, draw the top view of uh, circle with a diameter of uh, 30 mm we can extend extend the extension line afterwards uh, the dimensions how we have to represent here is uh, diameter 35 30 and uh, being the uh, circle we can divide into n number of divisions for better accuracy either uh, four divisions or six divis eight divisions or 12 divisions so we will stop with eight divisions for giving notations uh, one circle top circle is visible for us but bottom base is invisible for us that's why one is uh, visible and a is in in the bracket Either you can give a continuous name uh, notations like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But in case of front view, it will be difficult for us to denote, to write all the notations in the front view. So what I felt is we can give 1, then you can skip this division, this I make it as 2. But we will use this uh, divisions for extension of projectors and uh, uh, achieve the better accuracy of uh, final ellipse. Next is uh, 2B, 3C, 4D. Next step, you can extend the projectors uh, from you can extend the projectors from all the respective uh, divisions. Okay, then draw the base. After the completion of base, what is the height of axis? It is 40 mm. Draw the axis. Representation of axis is long dashed dotted lines. It should be in a thin line uh, for better uh, view i have drawn it as a uh, thick line always use thin lines long dash dot lines the height is axis height is 40 mm now you can complete the front view by joining all the uh, respective boundaries of the cylinder okay new 
now you can see the difference between the uh, cylinder and prism of uh, front view in case of uh, prism we have to extend these projectors also in thick lines but it is a curved smooth surface only the boundaries can be visible in the front view no need to extend this uh, projectors by means of continuous thick lines this is purely for our convenience we used made a division of 8 so we can extend these projectors by means of uh, thin lines and this is A dash uh, in the front view A, B, C, 1, 2, 3 will be visible from the uh, observer who are standing here but 4 and D is invisible being A is in the bracket A, A B, C, D is the circle which is at the base of the uh, cylinder 1, 2, 3, 4 is the top face of the cylinder so, B dash is visible, D dash is invisible, C dash is visible for us. Likewise, we can complete the top face of the cylinder another circle. Then you can extend the remaining uh, divisions in thin lines. This you have to ensure. No need to extend these projectors by means of thick lines. If you draw by means of thick lines, it represents the prism. Okay. You have to keep it in your mind whenever you are drawing a smooth surface like cylinder and cone, you will see only the boundaries of the solid. Next step, we have to tilt the axis of 30 degree to HP. You can take any point on uh, XY, fix with an inclination of 30 degree. This line, thin line, we can uh, draw for without any specific length. Draw without any specific length as per your wish then we have to tilt this axis okay we have to tilt this axis which means axis has to be drawn exactly on this 30 degree inclination line you can fix any point on this thin line after fixing a point on this thin line what is the high length of axis it is 40 mm afterwards uh, you can take this uh, b dash as center c dash as radius fix this point this point as center and draw an arc to cut xy now you can draw the space a dash c dash from this arc through this point we can complete this same length you can use uh, scale to measure this uh, distance and reproduce the same length but make sure that it should have 90 degree with axis this base should have 90 degree with axis you can check it here this is the base a dash c dash which is makes an angle of 90 degree with the axis while tilting here also you can ensure whether you have drawn by making it as 90 degree we can complete the boundaries of uh, cylinder in the front view and same notations you can represent a dash b dash d dash c dash 1 dash 2 4 dash 2 dash 4 dash 3 dash now Procedure is common as usual, uh, whatever you practiced and followed in Prism and Pramid, we have to extend the projectors from the first step stop, top view and third step front view. So you can extend the projectors from all the uh, divisions. So already we uh, well versed with this uh, step. So I extended projectors from the top view first, then I extended projectors from the front view. For an example, we can see this is the A dash. Now here it is A. So both the projectors are meeting at this point, marked it as A1. Similarly, we can go for B dash, D dash. Here it is B1, B. Then D dash. This is D dash. Here it is D, D1. What about C dash? Here it is meeting C1. Being it is on HP, invisible from the top view, that's why it is denoted in the bracket. Similarly, we can complete the top face of the cylinder as 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1. Now, the top face and bottom face of the cylinder is completed. As an observer is standing here, he can able to see clearly the top face circle. If it is inclined, already uh, in the projection of plane surface if the circular lamina is uh, tilted what is the object or shape you can obtain is ellipse so now only four uh, divisions are extended uh, remaining two divisions we can extend by means of this uh, four divisions by means of this projections projectors 
can extend uh, remaining uh, divisions like here i will get one more point and here another point for better accuracy of drawing the ellipse likewise you can extend the remaining uh, split ops divisions now i can complete being an observer standing here this top face is clearly visible you join all these 1 1 and 2 1 through this point 2 1 3 1 through this point 3 1 4 1 through this point likewise you can complete the visible ellipse now what is the boundary 4 1 d 1 is the boundary 2 1 c b 1 is the boundary of the cylinder now this is the bottom face nothing but the base of the cylinder another circle a dash to c dash here also a1 b1 d1 is the boundary what about this c1 being observer standing here this c dash is invisible if it is invisible we have to draw by means of hidden lines as we discussed in the prism and pyramid bottom half of the edge this is the bottom half of the edge c dash b dash c dash and c dash d dash is the bottom half of the edge is always invisible from the top view as an observer standing here so it has to be denoted d1 c1 b1 has to be drawn by means of a smooth hidden lines you can check it here clearly a1 b1 or uh, 2 1 3 1 a1 b1 2 1 3 1 4 1 d1 is the boundary of this uh, cylinder then uh, being the top face this uh, circle is clearly visible that's why 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 is drawn by means of continuous thick uh, smooth line curved surface this is the bottom half of the bottom half of the edge or bottom not edge bottom half of the base c dash b dash c dash c dash d dash is invisible that has to be drawn by means of a hidden lines okay c1 also represented in the bracket that is the reason behind why we are using c1 in the bracket okay if you have any queries and doubts if you like this video you can uh, share your uh, comments in the comment box and if you wish to see the videos of a prism and pyramid you can check the description box